So good afternoon everyone, uh, I am Marijn Timmer and today I will discuss with you the nitrogenizer project which is about source separated urine treatment uh, with partial nitritation anamox in a membrane aerated biofilm reactor. I'm from the University of Antwerp from Siegfried Vlamings group and we work together with EAWAC, the Swiss Federation of Aquatic Research and we are part of the uh, capture water pipeline. So let's first discuss the benefits of nitrogen removal from source separated urine. Uh, as you all might know, uh, urine contains the major fraction of nitrogen, phosphorus and sulfur in wastewater. And um, today it's mostly uh, treated combined with all other uh, sewage in a centralized wastewater treatment plant. Another option is source separated urine treatment, which has several benefits. It reduces sewage pipe uh, corrosion. It reduces nutrient load to centralized uh, wastewater treatment plants, giving it a bit more operational flexibility and it enhances uh, resource efficiency, but it also reduces emissions of hazardous nitrogenous compounds. For space, there's an additional case. Um, that the uh, local uh, nitrogen production from astronaut urine might uh, be used to make up for nitrogen gas losses in the vacuum of space. Uh, nowadays, what is done is that uh, gas bottles are hauled from Earth and with this local available nitrogen source in space, we can eliminate this uh, redundant transport. So how could we efficiently uh, remove nitrogen from source separated urine? Um, first, there is resource efficiency. In our case, that means a low oxygen demands for conversion and no supply of additional chemicals such as COD. Uh, furthermore, we want to have a system uh, that is based on a low energy demand. Um, so, for example, we would like to have high aeration efficiency and we would like to have a low system footprint to have high volumetric rates. In space, there is an additional requirement of microgravity compatible aeration. Uh, as you might know, bubbles do not work without gravity, so we need to find a solution for that. Uh, and besides aeration, we also have to uh, uh, extract the nitrogen gas from the liquid broth. So for that, we consolidated that partial nitrogen anamox, the efficient nitrogen conversion pathway, um, and the MABR, the Membrane Aerated Biofilm Reactor, are uh, the best options for this study. And here I will show you the MABR setup for our treatment. Um, on the left side, there's the gas phase uh, with the membrane. Um, then first there's the oxic zone uh, in which all oxic reactions take place. And then on the right, there's the anoxic zone with the anom uh, anoxic reactions. And on the far right, there's the bulk where the urine in the substrate is entering our system. And as you can see, there are quite some reactions going on in our system, but the MABR is able to facilitate all the reactions in a single stage for conversion of urea to nitrogen gas. So this brings us to our research question. Can we establish partial nitritation anamox on urine in a membrane aerated biofilm reactor. And then we are interested in the removal rate uh, and the removal efficiency. So uh, how did we start it up? I will go through it quite fast, but we used Oland RBC sludge, um, which was operated on synthetic wastewater. So first we started with ammonia as nitrogen source, and then we uh, step by step increased the complexity of our medium to um, mimic more closely urine. And finally, in phase three, we are operating in phase three now, we uh, have the real urine that it's operating on, the real diluted urine, I should say. Um, and this is how the reactor looks like. On the right, you can see our influent, which is the diluted urine. And in the middle, the most important part of our system, the membrane bundles. 
and they contain our biomass and also our nitrogen removal activity. So that's the most important part, the nitrogen removal rate that we can reach. And here you can see the end products formed uh, in the MABR. The dark blue is the nitrogen gas we produce per day. And uh, after a rough startup period of around 100 days, you can see that after a bit more than 100 days, we achieved a stable removal rate of 600 to 700 milligram nitrogen per liter per day. However, there's still a ton, a, an ammonium residual, which we also uh, want to remove. So later on, we reduce the load a bit more uh, to get better removal efficiency. Um, the removal efficiency uh, remained quite stable, although we tried different aeration strategies to uh, increase the nitrogen removal efficiency, but only after inoculation of a fourth bundle, uh, the nitrogen removal efficiency really increased up to uh, rates of 90% even. So the conclusions uh, should be that we successfully established partial nitrogenation animals in an MABR with nitrogen removal rates of 600 to 700 milligram nitrogen per liter per day, with removal efficiencies of 60 to 70 percent uh, on Earth and in space. Uh, this is interesting because the high removal rates can lead to a smaller system footprint. The high removal efficiency can uh, uh, lead to load reduction uh, for the conventional treatment uh, in centralized wastewater treatment plants. And the treated effluent has a lower pollution uh, potential to the environment. And then for space, we did a preliminary mission scenario analysis. Uh, for example, a Mars mission, which usually uh, is designed for four person and takes thousand days, um, would have a weight advantage of at least 211 kilogram um, if they take the nitrogenizer on board uh, compared to gas haulage from Earth. And if you think about the costs of deep space transport in terms of weight, then this is a very um, beneficial number. So the next step of our uh, system would be degassing and the off gas extraction to uh, extract the gas from our liquid. And with that, I would like to end. Uh, I would like to thank again EAVAC and uh, Capture, but also ESA the Melissa Foundation for their support and Belspo for the funds. And if you have uh, any questions or you want to reach out to me, you can contact me via, via the link in the slide. Thank you all for your attention.